Today, I wanted to talk to everyone about a topic that we commonly see here at Legacy Physical Therapy. It is um, pregnancy-related low back pain. So um, low back pain during pregnancy is very common, um, but it is not normal, okay? Just because you're pregnant does not mean that you are doomed to experience back pain, and there's things that you can do about it. Um, so one of the main things that we see here with it is that women just think that that's something that they just have to deal with during their pregnancy and it it really isn't it there are things that you can change things that you can do to um uh, make your pregnancy as comfortable as possible and hopefully that you're not having to experience uh low back pain for an any type of extended period of time so um as far as it being common that's definitely the truth. Um, in a recent study of where they surveyed 950 pregnant women, over 68% uh, of them reported having low back pain. Um, what I found fascinating in that study was that only 32% of them told their healthcare provider, told their doctor that they were experiencing low back pain. And of those who did tell their healthcare provider, only 25% of the healthcare providers um, recommended any type of treatment. Um, a lot of women, unfortunately, are simply told that, oh, yep, you're pregnant, you're going to have low back pain, that's normal, just deal with it. Um, but it's not normal. You can do something about it. Um, one of the main reasons why it's important for you to do something about it during your pregnancy is that um, when you are experiencing low back pain during your pregnancy, it does put you potentially at more risk for continued low back pain issues in the postpartum period and beyond. So it is a risk factor for um, that pain to persist um, out after the pregnancy. So we want to make sure that you get it taken care of and get it taken care of quickly for you. Um, low back pain during pregnancy can feel like many different things, and that's so it can be pain in the central low back area, or maybe it's more right or left sided. Some women experience the pain more down in their buttocks area. Um, it can be pain that kind of shoots down the legs, either one leg or both legs. Some women describe it as sharp or stabbing pain. Others, it's more of a persistent dull ache. Some women experience a pins and needles sensation, or they might even feel like their legs are getting weak or giving way. Um, some women experience kind of a looseness in the joints and a clicking or popping that can be painful. Um, uh, oftentimes pain with transitional movements. So getting in and out of the car, up and down from chairs, rolling over in bed, getting out of bed those different movements um, where you're transitioning from one position to another can be painful. Or um, other women feel it more as the more they're standing, the, the more pain that they'll experience. Um, I hear this especially in women who maybe this is their second or third pregnancy that they experience pain and difficulty lifting up um, their young children. Um, so this oftentimes becomes very kind of detrimental to them getting their day-to-day -day activities done if it's too painful for them to lift up their toddler or kiddos um, because of what they're experiencing in their back. So um, also it may be simply that the pain is getting worse as the day goes on. Maybe you start out the day feeling okay, but as the day goes on, it gets worse and worse than that. So um, there are definitely things that you can do that are pretty simple to try to um, help alleviate some of these symptoms if you are experiencing them. So the, the first thing that I recommend trying is either using heat or ice over the painful area. So if you're gonna use ice, um, honestly a simple way to make an ice pack is just a bag of frozen peas or frozen corn and um, label it not for dinner, but uh, just put it in a pillowcase kind of uh, over the painful area for maybe about 15 minutes or so. Uh, that's going to help kind of calm down the inflammation and numb up things a little bit. Uh, heat can also be helpful. Uh, heat helps to improve the blood flow and get the muscles to relax. Uh, one of my favorite ways is to make a rice sock uh, heating pack. So take like a long, clean athletic sock and fill it with dry rice and kind of knot off the ends with it. Then you can zap that in the microwave for a minute or two and lay it across the painful area. Some people kind of find benefit by switching back and forth between ice and heat. Um, 
for that 10 to 15 minute period with each. A uh, second thing that you could try is massage over the painful area. So you could ask your partner to give you a massage who doesn't let, enjoy that. Um, but if your partner's not available, another option that I recommend is um, using a tennis ball to massage over the painful area. Sometimes it's easier to maybe put uh, two tennis balls in a sock and kind of put them together and knot off the end of the sock and then put that against the back of the wall and um, or the back of a chair and kind of put your low back over it and sort of rock back and forth uh, over the balls there to help kind of release some of the tension there. So that can oftentimes feel really good. A third thing that is helpful um, when you're talking about trying to help relieve pregnancy-related low back pain is making sure that you're activating your uh, core muscles better. And that, so yes, as the baby grows, we are gonna get a stretch out of the abdominal muscles. Um, and sometimes that means that they're not gonna work quite as well as they did previously, but that doesn't mean that they shouldn't be working for you. So one of the ways that you can help to kind of protect uh, your back and provide more comfort for it is making sure that your deep abdominal muscles are still working the way that they should be. And so a great way to try and activate them is to imagine like you're trying to give your baby in your belly a hug with your belly muscles. So you're kind of pulling your belly muscles in around the baby there. You should be able to do this without holding your breath. Oftentimes I tell people to kind of blow out as you're doing it and just give your baby a hug with your belly and kind of hold that position for three to five seconds and then relax, okay? Try practicing that for maybe 10 repetitions in a row, multiple different times a day um, to help keep those deep abdominal muscles activated and working the way that they should be for you. These muscles are also good to um, activate uh, ahead of doing any type of lifting. So if you did have a toddler at home that you were gonna have to be lifting up, you wanna think about giving your baby a hug with the belly before you lift the toddler up or if you're having pain with those transitional movements, kind of pulling in your belly around the baby before you go to stand up or go to roll over uh, can oftentimes help it feel more comfortable. So that's something to try there. If you're trying some of these techniques and you're not seeing any change in your symptoms, you're not getting better, you're still having um, pregnancy-related low back pain that's you know affecting your day-to-day -day activities, this is when you may want to partner with a uh, specialist, a woman's health physical therapist can be very helpful for you to um, work through what seems to be causing your pain and what can make your pain better and help you get set up right away with um, ideas for different ways that you can move, pain relieving techniques and um, exercises and their techniques that you can do to help you progress to feeling much more um, kind of functionally able and pain-free. Uh, so um, remember what I said back at the beginning of this broadcast though, is that um, in that one study, uh, like I said, 68% of women reported having low back pain, but only 32 of them told their healthcare providers and only 25% of the healthcare providers recommended any type of treatment. So don't rely on your OBGYN um, to potentially be making the recommendation for you. You might have to be an advocate for yourself to seek out care that's going to help you. And by advocating that you would like to see a woman's health physical therapist, um, that is definitely a, a step in the right direction for you to help be as pain-free as possible for the remainder of the pregnancy.